Cross Corner Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Canty. And once again, we have Mark Simpson back in the building, baby. Back in the building. And we got Kamari Smith from the Great Debaters. Uh, <laughs> I hate you, Mark. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Chris Cross Corner. Listen to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Anchor. Support and the pop podcast. That. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, I almost said pop that. Anyway, support the podcast on anchor.fm slash crisscross quarter slash support and choose your tier, preferably the five dollars a month. We're looking for 50 more subscribers by the end of September. So please subscribe to anchor, anchor.fm slash crisscross quarter slash support. All right. Uh what you doing, Detroit? Let's do what you're doing, Detroit, before we get into the top 10 list of the week. Or well, this week is going to be top 20 list because I have right. time doing top 10 list. Because he's delivering right. me and I hear going crazy. Mm, all right, Mark. <laughs> Speaking of delivery guys, thank you, Mark. Delivery guys, a semi truck containing $300,000 worth of TVs was stolen on the freeway. That's what I was going for. And you just, you almost missed the whole. No, you wasn't. No, you, you wasn't. almost no, missed it. No, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. You're about to talk about something. You, you, you about to talk about PPP. <laughs> <laughs> you about to talk about PPP. No loans. No loans. No loans. No. Yeah, nothing about a loan about this PPP. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, semi truck <laughs> containing $300,000 worth of TVs was stolen <laughs> on the freeway. <laughs> what are they gonna do with these TVs though? Like they're probably like you know tracks no. and everything. So I mean, if you they, fast they, didn't, they didn't they didn't get that far to put trackers and TVs yet, bro. That's a yes, they did. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, what kind of TVs first. were they? Uh, it's three hundred thousand dollars worth of them, so they're probably they had know, to be Samsung smart, smart TVs. Yeah, the small Samsung. Oh no, no, three hundred thousand. They might be Vizio. I mean, it depends how many TVs were in there, too. That's true. I've got only, like, you know. Vizio, oh, maybe, yeah. maybe. What's the other one? The on TVs? Oh, and then those TVs. So, yeah, that's pretty good. We also have David Norday in the building. Or well, he's not in the building. He's walking somewhere outside. He probably just got off of work. What up, David? I for sure just got off work. What's up, y'all? What up? Welcome back to the podcast, David. Ah, Missy here, man. I know I miss it here too. <laughs> You're lying. I'm lying like a mug. Um, I'm not. <laughs> well, speaking about people who people who hate their jobs, uh, a car dealership worker punches out his boss for asking him to take out his earbuds. David, <laughs> I think that was reasonable. Um, okay, so as a person that, you know, works in a place like that, it happens so many times in my job. Oh, take your earbuds out, <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> take what out? Like, because we just be doing our job and everything, and they just be assuming that we just be distracted. Like, some people right. aren't distracted. Like, listen, this helps me get going me. throughout the day. Right, it helps me get through the day. I can't smoke on the job. I can't drink on the job. So let me do something that I can do. Right. <laughs> you don't want me to work hard. So <laughs> Dang, I don't want Mark. me to work drunk either. So come on Dang, now. Mark. All right, Mark. What? <laughs> somebody, has to, if somebody wants to smoke weed on the job. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> some jobs every day. Some, some, some jobs make you want to. True, true, true. Like your job. Weird. Yeah, you're funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> funny. There's no way He's not aware of Mark Simpson, not Chris Canty. <laughs> no, see, the, the, see, the thing is, 
about Chris's job. <laughs> LOL. All right. We're, we're, we're going to talk about PPP after the show. Uh, a, oh, new, no. a, new, a new high rise is coming to Detroit. It's called ah. The Exchange. Another high rise. Yes, Kamari. It's going to be called The Exchange. It's going to have 16 ah. stories, 165 units, which include 153 apartments and 12 condominium residences. Where is it going to be at? It, you know that uh you know next to um B Dubs that huge parking lot area behind B Dubs that's where oh they're... okay so it's gonna be two thousand dollars in rent okay that's yeah. fine that's, all, that's, that's all, all I need to know but you can put your, <laughs> app, put your application and you can I hate uh, affordable payments <laughs> get those affordable nah. payments nah, what's no, affordable two thousand that is two thousand that affordable is payments. car note it's insurance and your phone bill for two affordable. months. Affordable payments. What's their version of right? What's their version of affordable? Because no, like no, no. The, the state has the state has their uh, regulations and the city has theirs. I think theirs is going to go by the state, which is I think if you have twelve condominiums in a high rise, those condominiums are going to go for at least at least one point five. One point five million. Yeah. Rappers about to be living there off rip. And then ain't the nothing to do downtown. I'm sick of people. Like the down high end here. apartments, the public. And they ain't really there in the do. Are you doing this just looking at water all day? Stop it. Like I'm gonna just Some stare at like the water. That. Some people Come like on, that, nah, bro. Some no, people like that. You know, I'm not about to just be looking at the river all day. Like, hey, what's the that river? river? No. That's a good entertainment yeah, spot. Yeah. Greek town, right? You got Greek town right there. You got downtown. You get a, a short drive to the to Canada. Like that's 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 the life. You Sports can't go to games, there. Concert. I don't still want people right now. I gotta, I gotta update. How do you update Zoom? You just oh. uh, so so. There's a thing called update, and then you update it. I talk about from the computer. Oh, uh, you gotta go to like the, the app. Go to the go app to the and app. Then say update. Mm-hmm. It doesn't just make you update uh, it. Are you on a Windows computer? Are you on a Windows computer? I'm on what? Yeah, I'm on the Windows. Oh shoot. Yes, you're fucked. Hello. All right, next thing. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so type of friends you are. Just okay. Google that shit. Google that. No, thank you, David. <laughs> I don't know why you at, wasted our time and asking. You wasted See, I our time. Chris, I, I thought I, I wanted to on purpose because I'm an asshole. Sure. I mean, during yeah. the podcast. There it is. During the there it is. Podcast. There it is. You know what? You guys, you know what you guys can do? You guys can choke on it. That's what you guys can do. Choke on what? No, Mike knows what I can choke on because I saw it earlier. It's horrible. Oh, oh no! It's horrible. <laughs> you actually oh, did no. it. Now, that's the crazy. What you think you saw? What you did it? I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. all right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> La Culture Cafe. Obviously, you know, black-owned business. Um, Doesn't mean they know how to cook. That that is true. Uh, they probably don't even know how to season my stuff right too. I've had some good stuff from there, and then I had some mediocre stuff. Some would. Way better. Okay, right. no, it's not better. Anyway, um, Louisiana Creole Gumbo, which is on Gratiot. Have you been there, Mark? I think so, actually. Hmm, it's pretty nice. It looked nice on the outside, so I don't know. I don't like gumbo like that, so. Gumbo! Uh, they say restaurant. I've never been there. Uh, Chef Greg's Soul in the Wall. That's on Curtis on the west side. Curtis uh, Chef Greg. Uh, 2009, 2009 Curtis. So it's on the west side somewhere. I guess. It might be by you. It's not by me. Don't lie like that. There are a lot of people like that. It might be. You never know. It might be it's on Livernoy. Not. It might be on Livernoy. Livernoy it's Curtis. Not. It's not. It's you want to know what's on Livernoy and Curtis? My father's shop. You know what's on Livernoy and Curtis? <laughs> Curtis? Drugs, weed, <laughs> alcohol, liquor. <laughs> Shall I continue? <laughs> you know what's not oh, on Livernoy? You know what's not on Livernoy? Gus's chicken. <laughs> All right, Overpriced Chris. chicken. All right, Chris. You're oh, just, um... Man. Yeah. Gus's chicken is horrible. The mac and cheese is hitting though. It, it, it hit on certain days. It got to be very specific like days. Sunday, Sunday afternoon after church. Sunday after church. Yeah. That's when it hit the most. That's when it hit the most. Uh, 
Uh, we got Raven Lounge and Restaurant on Shane. Never had it. We might have to hit that up in food tours. Uh, Detroit Vegan Soul, of course. Never heard it. Sweet Potato Sensations on Lhasa. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> my guys. Don't, don't bless your soul. My guys. <laughs> <laughs> you want some something that's going to change your life forever? Hey, forever, ever, ever, no, forever, no, ever. No. forever, ever, forever, forever, ever, change your life. It, 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 it's gonna bless your soul. I'm, I'm telling you, it's gonna I have missed, you do one of these. I missed this. I really did. <laughs> I, I miss, I missed y'all, bro. Well, welcome back, man. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome oh. back. We missed you. I had to deal with I Basil missed- and Chris for like the last four weeks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And Marcel, I had to deal with her for like the last few weeks. I'm, like, I'm no. sorry. I had work. I, I, oh, tell, I tell the people, you know, when the show towards the end, wow, I was gone for so long. I owe y'all an explanation. Yes, you do. Same. 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 And, uh, and we're going to go back to the list. We have three more left. We have Motor City Soul Food on Seven Mile. We got Detroit Soul on Eight Mile. And then Beans and Cornbread, Dang. which is in Southfield. Hey, oh, Beans and Cornbread, good. That's they, good. they underrated. They, they are. Underrated. People don't know they about them until they, like, until they go past them. People don't know about them. Right. No, or, or, or they be like, I meant to try it, but I keep dropping by it every time. <laughs> it's always like that, bro. I don't know why. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, it's horrible. I hate beans. That greens is fantastic. Two, I love two things greens. I hate. Two things I hate. Beans and cornbread. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Hey man, I just have a different tongue. Why beans? There's so many different beans too. Oh no. Oh heck you dog. Take that off. Like pepper oh, beans. No. Oh. I don't like red beans. Oh no, what happened there? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? Oh, oh. oh. Wait, uh, I said hold oh, on. Change talk, about, talk about social experiment. Oh. Free tacos or free wings for life? Tacos. Are they tacos. good? Tacos. I say wings because wings are more expensive. <laughs> Listen, did Chris, y'all, did y'all I say wings because pro- I can turn them into tacos. Let's go. I've got to say tacos because lately wings have not been hitting lately. Facts. No, how how have they not been hitting? I don't know what it is about, but every time I order wings from different I, places, I went to B Dubs like, the other day. Trash. Or you went to B Dubs. You went to I went to, That's your problem. I went to Wing Stop after that. Trash. Wing Stop is me, Wing Stop is mediocre wings, so I don't know why you went there. Then I went to that Wing. No, the Yang Thing Building is that way. Wing yep. and, um, what's yep. it called? Wing. <laughs> I the best wings I had so far came from this place in Lansing called Wings Over. I put him into that. Oh <laughs> my god! Best wings in my life that I ever had, and listen. Yet yeah, I was still Chris, choose tacos. Chris, Chris should have had them because they also had a little. They, they also had a restaurant in Ann Arbor before they closed can, that one. I can go. I can go to Lansing. My uh, cousin Brandon goes to Michigan State now, so I'll be up there for the next four years. Yeah, it's called Ooh. Wings Over. Wings, Let's go there. Wings Over. What's it called? Wings over. Wings, wings over. over. Just oh, it's, in a, it's, it's in a plaza with Traverse City uh high company right next door oh, to yeah. the Pizza Hut. Yeah. Well, <laughs> don't, I don't know what David don't did. Next to it. <laughs> don't don't do what David did. See, David went to that pie company place. I gotta take my glasses off for this one. Uh-oh. He ordered a rhubarb pie. Okay. Rhubarb? Okay. Sounds, hold on, hold on, good. hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Was yes. It delicious? And it was yeah, disgusting. Hold on, hold on. Let me Dang, explain I thought, myself. I was told those hit. Let me explain myself. First thing yeah, first, we go up okay. there. I said, do you want, she was like, do you want strawberry pie? I was like, strawberry pie? Absolutely. I'm thinking it's a strawberry pie. So then I'm looking at the inside like, what is that? She was like, it's rhubarb. I said, you lying, bitch. 
What is a rhubarb? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> lying bitch. That's, that's lying no. Bitch. Everybody in the car, that was our reaction. Like, you lying bitch. Like, <laughs> like, like I'm over here like. David, like, taste this, bro. It's strawberry pie. The fuck is a rhubarb? <laughs> I'm like, bad as a I ain't never had no pus. And then I had to Google it. I'm like, who the fuck puts vegetables in a pie? <laughs> I, I heard strawberry and rhubarb go really well together. No, it, oh, it doesn't, Kamaria. It's so terrible. It's bad. Put vegetables <laughs> in a pie. Did it's it have so- peas in it? Oh, no. it's so bad. I ain't been on here with a haircut in a minute. It would have been a different to like Popeye. Either. Wait a minute. I, Everybody got a haircut on here today. You ever had to catch up? You ever had to catch yourself like, dang, I had a haircut like, What's that? <laughs> oh. I want my damn Popeye hair back. I'm growing my hair back. It's, 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 it's kind of big back. Yo, David sent us this picture in the group chat, in our one group chat. He like, they're like, yeah, we got to get you a wig, bro. This ain't working. <laughs> Y'all ain't had to come at him like this, though. <laughs> all right, all right, we're going to go to the next one. We got, uh, which is the worst shift to work? Oh, man. 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., 8 p.m. to 4, 9 p.m. to 5, 3 p.m. to 11, 11 to 7. Uh, 3 to 3 11. 3 to 11. 3 to 11 or 11 I, to 7. I said that and people were like, no, nah, man, we need that. I was like, no. Nah, bro, we I work I bro, work 2 I to 10. To I work 2 to 10, 30. My whole day is gone. Like, it's gone. I work 3 it's to 11. I can't do nothing right. fun. But like, <laughs> Don't get me wrong. The couple hours before I go to work, you know, that from when I wake up at like 9, from 9 to like one to like when I start getting ready, but ain't nothing to do. Nah, you just watch the Price is Right. I just watch the Price is Right at whatever uh Disney Plus show I missed out on for the week or whatever Netflix show I was been watching. That's it. I can't even yeah. really get into the game because once you start playing the game, you need at least six hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what you playing yeah, the game? Yeah, yeah. This nigga says six hours <laughs> or at least three. <laughs> like you twelve. Like we're not twelve no more. Why do you want the video game for twelve hours for six hours? <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I spent the whole off day just playing video games one day. Me too, and, me it, too. and it was peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Chris, just it was. because you lost your childlike wonder does not mean this I still play video games. I still play video games. What's wrong with playing video games? Your no, boyfriend? I think that he said, like, you're not kids no more. You shouldn't be playing games for, like, six, 12 hours. I'm like, well. Sometimes I don't your life. life. You're sitting down playing video games. What are you doing with your life? You keep procrastinating over and over. Maybe I should try again next year. No, do it right now. <laughs> hey, I be you be so ready to screw up with it. Like when you was a kid, you used to laugh at him. Now that you an adult, you want to screw up with this nigga so bad. Now. Hell yeah. And like, all right, dog. Yeah. How you know that what was gonna happen to me in my life? <laughs> Honestly, low, low key, I want to be a successful streamer. Okay. I want to get paid to do what I love doing. Like I, I, I get to sit and have other people watch me play video games. That's the life. See, and I get paid for it. See, I'm the opposite. I want to, um, I want to sit and make people laugh. Like that's, I want to react to stuff. Just be that type of dude. Just do whatever on the channel. So that's why. Speaking of I'll, speaking of that, we're going to be doing react videos on Chris Cross Corner with Mark Simpson, Basil Lowe, Marcel Smith, David Norday, Mario Smith. <laughs> Chris Bird and everybody in the Great Debaters. Great Debaters reaction videos. <laughs> Great, debaters hey. Great Debaters reacts. Ooh. Hey. Great Debaters how to do that. I know how to do it. No, I know how to do it, but I got to like do it so we have like everybody in there and we don't have any like disruptions. Hey. I have see, rental space you, downtown you as heart, we speak. You see this heart right here? This is the souls of all the niggas I made laugh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Made right, them laugh. Made them laugh their back. souls away. Let's get back to your decent. soul away with me. <laughs> speaking of speaking of laughing our souls away, areas you can cut on expenses. Now, a lot of people have cable. Still have cable. I don't know why you still have cable. But why you have cable, cable phone? Cut why are you paying away? hundreds of dollars on? Just get the app. Just get right. the app. You sit down, you watch a TV on cable. You're not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, right. You watch a cable while you got a whole Wi-Fi box right here. Just download Netflix. You can even get cable on streaming. No, you get YouTube TV. Hulu. Hulu. YouTube TV. YouTube or Hulu TV for less than $70. I, I'm about to I'm about to uh, go Kendrick Parker's on. You, you, you get Hulu. your you get your smart TV. 
or your Xbox or PlayStation or what have you and what not. What have you? <laughs> what, what you have got not, the Nintendo have, Switch. You got this Nintendo Switch system game thing. Then you got the damn Xfinity Fire, whatever internet you got. You got uh, you got gigabit internet. Shit. As long as you, you just need 25 megabits a month and you got your streaming services, you all good. So what you paying for cable for? You just wasting money. That money could be going in your pocket. Your kids can have a future, but you want to watch cable. Yes. Your kids can have a future, but you want to watch cable. Come on now. You could get, man. All right. Another thing, another, thing y'all, <laughs> another thing y'all can uh, save money on is buying stuff out like Starbucks coffee and expensive dinners that you don't really need. We don't, yeah, we don't. No one needs an expensive, expensive dinner. dinners. Okay. Expensive dinners don't mean the same today as they did back 10 months ago. Okay. Expensive dinners know. mean, expensive dinners mean DoorDash, Uber Eats. Because oh. you know, a $5 you know meal what? at Popeye's no. costs $12. It's $12. $12. Oh. <laughs> Chris, how long do you have to say 12 <laughs> <laughs> you live in Michigan. How did I know? <laughs> and sales tax. Chris, that sales tax is a bitch. Yo, that's a bitch. No, 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 it's the <laughs> delivery <laughs> fee. It's no. the delivery fee. That's what it is. No, no, delivery I'm fee is the is the stuff on top of the stuff. Y'all want to learn how I save money? Low key. Seven Eleven got an app now. I just use their app instead of DoorDash. Save money right yeah. there. That's one. Two. They got a whole pizza for five dollars, bro. You know how many times that's been dinner. That nasty ass pizza. <laughs> you just, that's a pizza you only get one or two slices. Not it's like it's like it's three a.m. Mark, are you okay? No, listen, I have not Mark, been okay. Mark I have is not, not okay. okay. Mark is listen, not okay. <laughs> it has been times where it's been three a.m. Been drinking. Only thing open Seven Eleven. A whole pizza for five dollars. I get what I, I, I understand what Tahir was talking about now. I get but it. the pizza is now. No, he, he eats the hot dogs mostly. No, he the likes pizza. the pizza though he, too. He likes the pizza, but he advertises the hot dogs. The hot dogs I can understand. But the but pizza, a whole pizza? What made me stop? I didn't eat a whole pizza by myself. I never did that. I'm saying it's been dinner for like the house. Like the dinner but, for the house, that's even worse. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this though. I went to Fairland and I had Sabaro for the first time. All right, y'all. Next thing you can get, next thing you guys can take off your uh, credit expenses. This do not like Sabaro, but they are really good. <laughs> no, speaking of shopping expenses, get rid of your shopping expenses, y'all. Some of y'all let be your buying girl run wild with Amazon. You know, <laughs> hey, 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 I run wild on Amazon, so I don't know what you're talking about. Don't let your girl run wild on Amazon. That's all I got to say. Here. Y'all saw me over here with this Gucci hat man last last year. I, went I was so mad. Why? What, who, what was your point? I was, you was saying, I was the first streamer with the Gucci hat <laughs> Yeah, but please cut on your shopping expenses because that stuff can get expensive. Mm. We're gonna be talking about my top twenty list. Another top twenty list, y'all. We got the top twenty songs from two thousand three. Oh boy. Okay, he's back. Mark is back. Oh no, he's not. Okay. Uh, number 20 from 2003. Bring Me to Life by Ever Vestens. Wake me up. We got uh, nine, number 19. We got Maps by the Yeah, Yeah, Yes. Ooh. The yeah, yeah, yes. You never heard of the yeah, yeah, yes? I guess that's one of the bands that I have to say I haven't heard of. Yeah, that's that, that's a pretty good song, too. Uh, hey. we, we got The Reason, number 18, by Huba Stank. The, Huba, the who? Huba Stank. I found a reason for me. That song. <sighs> oh, my. What? <laughs> All right, number 17 of my <laughs> top 20 songs from 2003, we have Baby Boy by Beyonce and Sean Paul. All right, what Chris. What year is this again? What? What year is this? 2003. Of course. Uh, number 16, Right There by Chingy. Right there. I had a feeling you were going to pick that. Of course, it's 2003. You got you to drop some Chingy. I like the way you Right there. Right, right there. there. I got her. All right, number one hit wonder. Yeah, he was a one hit wonder. 
Uh, he had some hits after it, but he was it wasn't as big as right now. Yeah, that is. Uh, we got number fifteen, White Flag by Dido. Okay. Number, number fourteen is Ninety Nine Problems by Jay Z. Hey, great song. We got number thirteen, Seven Nation Army by The White Stripes. Mark, turn your computer down, though. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Uh... Jesus Christ. All right. I think I just fixed it, though. We good. It's lit. Uh, all right, Travis Scott. All right, number 12, we have So Gone by Monica. See, I, I don't remember that one. How can I remember So Gone by Monica? Mm. That's the song. All right, 11, we got Roses by Outkast. Is that the only Outkast song on your list? We're at number 11. Just oh, that. in my top 10 of my top 20 songs of 2003, number 10 is Where's the Love by Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> What's wrong with the world? Mm. What's wrong with the world, mama? <laughs> People acting like they ain't got no mamas. All right, number nine is Through the Wire by Kanye West. Uh. <laughs> I mean, of course, you're gonna have to, you have eight, to have that. Yeah, number eight is Numb by Lincoln Park. Rest in peace, Chester. Uh, number seven is It's My Life by No Doubt. <laughs> Uh, what's this? Was this Number the s- age of uh? Was this also the uh, age of uh, emo rock? I mean, was this also the? Don't you do that? Don't you hate on emo rock? I'm not. I'm just asking a question. Uh, maybe I don't know. It's by life, by no doubt. That was a cover song, though. Uh, we have number six. Step in the name of love by R. Kelly. Uh oh, I'm not. Uh, ooh. I had to. Step we have to bring the name of love. Step in the name of love. Oh yeah. Step, step, step. Wild and round. Ooh. Step away, bring it back. That was the song. Let me see you do the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Step in the name of love. 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 So uh, oh, oh, you. well, of course you go. You gotta have that one, dog. I was just playing that earlier while I was cleaning up. That's your cleaning music, Mark. Early, early Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. That's my cleaning music. Early Alicia Keys. Early Alicia Keys. Like two thousand one to like uh oh wait. Yep. I ain't got nothing. If I ain't got nothing. Hi y'all. All right, number. <laughs> Number four, Crazy in Love by Beyonce and Jay-Z. Um, yeah, that's number four, Mark. Number four. Which means there's three better songs than that. Mark is flustered. Mark is flabbergasted. Mark is astonished. Why is that up there? I don't know. It's I number can... four, Crazy in Love. That's, that was the number, probably the number one song of 2003 by Billboard Charts. But it's number four on my list. Number three is The Way You Move by Outkast. Yo, I remember that song being played in almost every Detroit skating rink. Yeah. I like the way you move. 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 I like the way All right, number two. We have In the Club by 50 Cent. You can find me in the club. Yeah, I yeah, thought that was gonna yeah. be. I thought that was gonna be number one, to be honest. Oh hell no, bro! That Dude, song he... took off. Cause Dude. the way that song took off. <laughs> in all three, the, song. the way that song. <laughs> when you got the Chinese people knowing that song, doing it in the karaoke bars. Bro, they put it in Hancock. You know how old that song was when Hancock came out? It was like five years old. Man, but songs usually don't that you know what I'm saying don't usually make it in there like that. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, that song two, had power. Number two was in the club. Shut up, Mark. <laughs> Shut up. 
That was a bad. That was a. Yo, bad I was word. not even. Is it bad that I was not even trying to make that a pun? And it was like, no, yo, because you said it like a like 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 a punchline. You was like, that showed that he had power. power. I was like, stop it. And I was I wasn't even trying to go there, but we went there <laughs> unintentionally. I, I, really, power. I really. This is why I, I miss Mark on the show. Welcome back, Mark. Yeah, and like, number one of my tw- top twenty songs of two thousand three, it's Hey Ya. By Outcast. I knew it. Yeah, yeah. You can you can, you could have took Beyonce out and put somebody else in there. I'm just no. Saying. That was that's that was a good song. Honestly, if you switch I, one or two, I would not be. I'm biased. I can't be mad at this list. If you chose one or two, I wouldn't. If you flipped one and two, I still wouldn't be mad because those two songs. Well, that was 2003 in a nutshell, right there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's still ain't like Kiki. Do you love me? But I don't know. <laughs> You did not just put Kiki. Dude. Speaking of speaking of that, we're gonna talk about that next. Uh, people are talking about Drake and Michael Jackson. Yo, I was waiting on this one. I'm, I'm now, sorry. Fill me in on this. I'm f- fill me in on this. Now, Drake. No, we're gonna talk about Drake and Michael Jackson on the next show. To uh, submit a podcast topic, please go to this, uh, Anchor.fm slash Chris Cross Corner slash Support. Damn, we uh, really doing this, aren't we? Thank you, Mark, yes. and Marcel, Kamari, and David for all coming in. We will talk to you guys on the next episode. We're going to be talking about how Drake and Michael Jackson compare, contrast, and we're going to compare their hits. I got to do my research before we're I have a versus. Uh, we're going to make a versus. No, we're not making no, a versus. We um, should do that. We can't do that. We can't do that on the show. Uh, uh, please don't do that. We're going to talk about PPP. Um, <laughs> But uh, Mark, tell everybody why you haven't been on in like a month. Okay, just before, been uh b- before we end the show. You know what? It's a lot of people out there who are dealing with a lot of stress, like I was. Mm-hmm. I just reached to the point where I got to a point where I just need to take a step back from everything, evaluate life, pretty much, just how I was gonna go about it because I've been stressed out with some things. But I'm back now. I'm better. Um, You're it was back. actually okay. people asking asking where I was, why I wasn't on the show. I, I appreciate was. everybody checking up on me. I really do. Chris was, Chris was on me every single day. I was like, where you at, bro? <laughs> Get your life together, bro. Get your life together, man. So it's you just bad me, bro, to know I, got I was you. missed. Right. It was just bad to know that I was missed. And, uh, I'll take you to Bell Isle. <laughs> I'm happy to be back in this seat. Damn. I did attend some of the great <laughs> uh, some of the great debaters events, though. I was That's on that, that pizza tour. Mm. Yeah, the pizza tour was nice. That, yeah. that, you know, so... Yeah. I'm back, hopefully for good. I'm um, about to start school soon too, so I'll be on the computer more often. What school are you going to? I took Full Sail University, and that's uh, that's the hey. edition of the Chris Cross Quarter. Oh, oh, he was safe, safe, <laughs> social distance, <laughs> and be nice to each other. Chris a hater. <laughs> <laughs>